So welcome back to our channel and for today's video we're going to be doing a summer essentials video and you guys know we love product related videos especially essentials because we like to show you guys the best of the best. Summer essentials are extremely important you'll see why but before we get into the video we want to thank Aveda so much for sponsoring today's video and we have a lot of things to share with you guys some hair care some sunscreen body care fragrance so we're going to hop right into it. So starting with hair care, our personal preference for the summer when it comes to hair care is Aveda, in particular the Nutriplenish line. Love this line so much. Yes. I did a video last year, well we did a video with Aveda last year and I used the Nutriplenish line. Mm -hmm. So that was my first time experiencing the goodness that is the Nutriplenish line. So the Aveda Nutriplenish line is really good for all hair types and we especially love it for summer because of its UV protection benefits and frizz control. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people forget that your hair can get damaged from the sun as well. A lot yes. of people think heat damage is just from hot tools, mm -hmm. but it can also be from the sun. So Definitely. be very mindful of what you're putting in your hair, especially in the summer because the sun has been sunning. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's been so freaking hot. Yes. And we're not all the way into summer yet. Right. This line is also really great because it's really moisturizing and hydrating and of course mm -hmm. it's cruelty free and vegan. So it checks a lot of boxes for everyone out there looking for products to check all the boxes. And for us in particular, these three are our favorite products from the Nutriplenish line. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the Aveda Nutriplenish Treatment Mask, but this is the deep moisture one. Mm -hmm. They do have a lighter version if you have fine hair. Mm -hmm. And this one in particular though is super creamy. Yes. It's very thick, very buttery, very, very rich. Very buttery. Um, you guys know we love a good hair mask. It's very essential. Yes. In every essentials video. Everyone. But I like I that this formula. one. I like the formulation of this one because it's really good for finger detangling while you're in the shower. Mm -hmm. So it also helps with finger detangling if your hair gets really knotty and tangly in the shower. Mm -hmm. So you can simultaneously deep condition while you're detangling. detangling. Yes. So I love a multi-purpose product because yes. it helps me save time because I dread wash days. Mm -hmm. Y'all, my hair is a week old. Yeah, and your hair never lasts that long. The shade. <laughs> it well, really it doesn't. She right though, it don't. Mm -hmm. Because I use less product than she does, which is kind of saying a lot because I use a lot of product. But she's more of a gel girl and I like leave-ins and stuff, so that's why my hair doesn't last that long. But I do have the Nutriplenish line in my hair right now. Mm -hmm. And y'all, my hair has not lasted this long in a very long time. Like I said, I washed my hair a week ago and it still looked like this. I've just been re refreshing it mm -hmm. with the product that we're gonna talk about next. Yes, this is like an essential for like pamper routine. If you're doing like a very like detailed wash day, this mm -hmm. needs to be your hair mask step because it's super nourishing. And if you guys have been watching our channel for a while, you know that hair masking is a very important step to both of our hair routines. Mm -hmm. And this one is top notch. So next we have the Nutriplenish Leave-In Conditioner. So this one I've been using the most out of the three that we're mentioning today because like I said, I haven't had to wash my hair in a week from these products. And this is mainly why I've been spraying this in my hair every two to three days. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, it just makes my hair instantly shiny every time I spray this in. And I don't need water to refresh it. Mm -hmm. I just spray this in by itself and I don't need anything else. So it's so convenient. So like yeah. if you have like frizzy pieces or pieces that feel a little bit dry throughout the week, you can spray this on certain areas. You don't even mm -hmm. have to spray it all over your hair. Just kind of like, you know, spot check. You know, gotcha, spot gotcha. spray. It you is know? good to refresh because I actually used it to refresh, but I did like a full refresh and like kind of like douse my hair in it from mm. like root to tip. Okay. So for me, this is like a really good first step. Yes. Like in like your routine. I yeah. love this first. Yeah, that's what I did when I actually did my wash and go routine. Mm -hmm. I sprayed this in first out of the shower. Yeah. But this is really good at detangling. Mm -hmm. And it's really good, obviously, for the UV protection that we were talking about. And if obviously, if you use heat on your hair as well in the summer, this is a really good heat protectant. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are looking for like an all-in-one multi-use leave-in conditioner, this mm -hmm. is a great one. Mm -hmm. Again, this is for all hair types. I love the smell of Aveda products too. They smell like a spa. I know. I honestly just get very nostalgic when I smell that's Aveda good. products because that's the school we graduated from. And yeah. Uh, I just have a, a appreciation for just the smell. And last but not least is my favorite styler 
from this line. This is the Nutriplenish Curl Gelay. This is for waves, curls, and coils. I love this gel. You guys know how obsessed I am with gels. <laughs> I feel like yeah. those are the key to making my hair last every summer. Yeah. Like my hair be lasting for like eight days if I wanted to. You, you're not wrong. Honestly, it, like in order to stretch your like wash and go, you do have to have a gel in your routine. And it's hard for me to say that because you guys know I'm like a leave-in type girl. I'm you like, like creams. creams and lotions. Uh -huh. I like, you know, custards. A gel is where it's at, especially in the summertime. Yes. This one in particular is really good for frizz control, of course. Mm -hmm. This does an amazing job mm -hmm. at controlling my frizz, which is one of my main concerns for summer. Mm -hmm. As well as dryness, this is a moisturizing gel. gel. yeah. And a lot of gels can be drying, which is why I'm super picky when it comes to the gels that I use. I literally, yeah. including this one, use three. <laughs> like, that's not me exaggerating. Ask Kelsey, I'm a minimalist when it comes really to my are. hair products. Yeah, she buys the same, like, three gels over, over and, and over, over again. I do. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. Right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, so I love this one. I love how, like, moisturizing, like we were saying it mm -hmm, is. It very. glides into the hair, like, really silky like. Yes. And I love that this is elongating. So this is supposed to be an elongating mm -hmm. gel. And you guys yeah. know I've been, you know, on the shrinkage team for a very long time. Um, my ha my curls shrink up a lot and this helps a lot with my shrinkage because that's what steered me away from gels for such a long time because drying. they were very drying. Mm -hmm. I didn't like how my hair felt after like a few days of it being in my hair. Yeah. But honestly with this gel, my hair still looked moisturized throughout the days. Definitely. So I wish they would start back selling this in a pump. Yeah, they used to sell it in the pump and I'm concerned as to why. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's I amazing. would be buying like the industrial In size. bulk. Yes, absolutely. So the next step is extremely essential. This is literally top three of your summer essentials. So that is going to be sunscreen. Sunscreen is extremely important. If you're not wearing sunscreen, you should not be outside. <laughs> Period. Even inside. People don't realize yeah. that UV rays come through the window. That's very true. You still need to be wearing sunscreen even if you're inside the house. Uh -huh. Definitely. This has been my favorite one for like the past maybe like seven months seven eight months i've been using this sunscreen for a while it has been my holy grail and in addition to this product this brand in general skin better is my bread and butter of my skincare routine y'all when i tell y'all this yeah. is literally all i use it is i don't use any other routine. brand on my skin except skin better because yeah. <laughs> that's what my skin likes my skin is very picky she don't like everything, so I have to be very particular yeah. about what I put on it. Same. Especially um, sunscreens because so many break us out. And so many make us look ashy if you're a woman of color. Or too oily. Or too oily. Like, if it rubs in good, yes, it has too many oils in it. Mm -hmm. This one, the only downside, you gotta work it in a lot. Yeah. Like, you kind of have to, like, massage it really nicely. Yeah, but, but I do like that this one is... SPF 75 it is, is high. kind of hard to find a really high sunscreen for the face mm -hmm. and this says it's also water resistant for 80 minutes mm -hmm. and most sunscreens they're like SPF 15 or 20 I don't remember the last time I used SPF 15 Oof, that's like a waste of time yeah um, I would recommend at least 30 or above did we say the name of the product this is the <laughs> skin better sun better advanced mineral protection broad spectrum SPF 75 sunscreen lotion the only thing for me about the sunscreen like Kendra said it is kind of hard to work in mm -hmm. I do like the mattifying factor that this gives because yes. I am naturally oily and yes. in the summertime I like something that makes me a little more matte mm -hmm. but I like to mix this with my moisturizer some mornings mm -hmm. so I'll like like put my moisturizer on and then I'll put this on and then I'll do one last pump of this again mixed with my moisturizer. Oh. So I kind of put this on twice just to make That's sure good. I have a nice layer. That's good. Um, because I don't want to just mix it once and it's diluted by my moisturizer. That's so that's what I do to uh -huh. make this work for me. Uh -huh. Because like if I don't, to me, I'm like tugging and pulling on my skin too much. So I like to put my moisturizer on by itself first. And like I said, mix it with my moisturizer again after. Because uh -huh. the texture is a little bit thicker. Uh -huh. um, even though it, it is. is a lotion, but I think it's thicker because of the SPF. It's 75. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm assuming that's how much it's protected the skin mm -hmm. and I also think it's probably a little hard to rub in because it's water resistant yes so it, it literally like clings to your face yes like it sticks it's not to your going face. nowhere so this is so great good. if you're going swimming you're getting in and out of the pool you're at the beach mm -hmm. like getting in and out of the water mm -hmm. so you want your sunscreen to be water resistant yes okay so sunscreen for the body a really good brand that we love is super goop 
So a uh, body sunscreen is really essential as well because the amount of hours you're out in the sun, like I feel like you lose track of time. Yeah. And when it comes to like body sunscreen, I feel like I'm reapplying that constantly because you're in and out of the water. That's what you're getting wet the most. Your face isn't getting wet unless you're dipping completely in the water. Mm -hmm. We don't, we can't swim anyway. <laughs> um, I don't be wanting to get my hair wet. Right, that too. <laughs> um, but these two are really, really great. So this one is the Super Goop Play SPF 50 Antioxidant Body Mist with Vitamin C because Vitamin C makes sunscreen work even better. Is that true? I remember you telling me that. Vitamin C increases the efficacy of your sunscreen. Okay, I remember hearing that. Which is why I recommend using vitamin C in the day. Right, and not at night. Yeah. So this is water resistant as well, and this is uh, sweat and water resistant for 80 minutes. And I think this is a great option because the spray is super convenient. Way quicker. You don't always want to rub in, but I do like a glow, like an oil option, like for for pictures. aesthetic purposes. I was gonna say, I like oils right before I take a picture. For pictures, and this is kind of mm -hmm. like a dual product because you don't want to be putting on an oil and you hot and it's like not even worth it because it's not even protecting your skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is worth it because this is SPF 50. This is also water resistant and you can get like that nice glow mm -hmm. for your photos. Yeah, because I don't like to just so. put like a plain oil on right. like, while I'm in the sun because I low-key feel like I'm just frying. Like a piece of bacon. Right. Yes, but I like mm -hmm. the oil with SPF in it. So right. that's why this one is like a perfect, yes. perfect option. So I highly recommend Super Goop sunscreens for the body. I have tried the one, um, the, the lotion one for the face, but it broke me out because it has sunflower oil in it and my skin doesn't like that. It's so. better for the body. Better for the body. I actually use that one for my hands in my car. In the car, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so next, speaking of body, the next one we can't live without any season, yeah. but especially in the summertime because we're showing you know, our legs off way more, our arms, arms off way more. Mm -hmm. um, it's the First Day Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA, safe for sensitive skin. You guys have heard us talk about this a thousand times, Yeah. but it's honestly the only body scrub we use nowadays it's because it's fragrance free. It literally makes your legs and your arms feel like a baby. Mm -hmm. Like it's your skin rejuvenated, yes. like born again. And it has colloidal oatmeal in it, which is very soothing. Soothing, yeah. And a lot of scrubs I've used in the past can be a little abrasive and mm -hmm. can later irritate my skin, like the longer I keep using it. Mm -hmm. But I've been using this one. This is the longest time I've ever used like a, a body scrub. Same. Mm -hmm. I've gone through, I've lost count at the amount that I've gone through of these. Same. Me and too. my skin isn't as sensitive as it used to be because of this product. Mm -hmm. And I love the fine like crystals. They're like not, the grain. yeah, they're not too big. Mm -hmm. which I think a lot of like scrubs with bigger beads mm -hmm. they're like really abrasive they're a yeah. little too harsh sometimes if you like to use scrubs like every other day this is a really good option because I'm not gonna lie some scrubs with bigger beads you can't really use those every day or every the other day you have to use those like once a week yeah exactly but this one you can use I think every other day and mm -hmm. be fine definitely and another essential body product is a salicylic acid body wash so a body wash with salicylic acid in it you guys, we're sweating. We have hair product in our hair. It's getting on our backs. Back knee is not cute. This one is so, so good for that. This is the Paula's Choice Clear Line Pore Normalizing Cleanser. And it says blemish prone skin. So this is technically a face cleanser, but you can use it on the body. Um, I actually like to use these kind of uh, face cleansers on my whole body because it makes your arms and stuff really soft as well, not just your back. And it just helps just get rid of like extra bacteria from like all the sweat and the grossness mm. that's outside in the summer, which we typically hate. <laughs> not gonna lie, I, we're not fans of summer. So any product that's gonna make it better, get your products to make you happy because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I get the summer blues. <laughs> you know how sometimes people get winter blues or like fall blues? I get summer blues. I get a little sad in the summertime. I don't know why. <laughs> so when I'm using like the products that I love, it makes me happy. So this is one of those products I like to use in the shower. Makes me feel really clean and fresh, like all the dirt is gone. Again, because outside is gross in the summertime. Okay, so still on body. Next is a body butter that we both have. We've talked about this before. Uh -huh. This is from Josie Maron, and this is the Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. Uh -huh. And this, for me, is my favorite scent. Yes. I love this one, the vanilla apricot. Vanilla apricot smells like summer. It's like the perfect summer scent. This is great to use during the day. Mm -hmm. And you can layer this. Good at night too though. I like it at night too. Because it gives you like a glow because of the argan oil in it. Yes, the glow you get is beautiful from this. But I also like to use it during the day sometimes. 
to layer with one of my favorite like fruity or clean perfumes mm -hmm. you can layer this with a fruity perfume or you can layer this with like one of your clean aquatic scents as well mm -hmm. so i like this as a base too for my perfume if anybody would ask you what you're wearing and you mix this with one of your favorite like summer scents mm -hmm. i feel like you would be like that girl like nobody would know what you're wearing because like you would smell so unique because every time i put this on in the summertime and i mix it with one of my perfumes like I honestly couldn't even make out like what I would smell like to somebody else because Kendra is that girl that could smell somebody walking by and know what they're wearing. That's but true. I feel like this mixed with one of your favorite scents. Creates a unique scent. Exactly. This is light though. That's why it I do light. like this one because it's, not, it's a light fragrance. Yeah, it's right. not very like strong potent of a fragrance. Mm -hmm. Um, And the apricot smell to me smells like peaches. It smells like peaches to it me. It does. It's in the same family. Very nectary. Same family. It's sweet but it's like a sweet clean. It doesn't smell like sugary and like no. fake smelling. It's, it's a really nice like fresh, fresh light peach smell mm -hmm. so so good so it's making me thirsty honestly really good for summer highly recommend this one the vanilla bean one is good too but the vanilla apricot is definitely a summer essential mm -hmm. this we've talked about we talked about in our summer scents video yes. this is from the seven virtues and this is the lotus pear perfume mm -hmm. and i think this mixed with this you you guys will love it i'm mm -hmm. telling you these smell so good together mm -hmm. Okay, anything in the fruity family, you can mix together and it's going to smell good. That's very I think. true. So pear and apricot, that sounds like a good drink to me. So you'll basically be walking around smelling like a good summer drink. Uh -huh. So I think like if you start to layer your perfumes in the summertime with like your favorite like body butter, specifically this one, I'm telling y'all, you're going to have a nice glow. Not just smell good, but you're going to look good. Uh -huh. um, but this to me, like it's like really, really nice for summer. Very fruity but not like sugary fruity it's just very like fresh fruity yeah because i try to steer away from like sugary scents in the summertime mm -hmm. because if you live in the mm -hmm. south you're going to be attacked by mosquitoes that's very true especially if you have my blood type because they hardly ever attack kendra no for some reason they only attack me and that's weird because i wear sweeter scents you do but they always bite me and i usually have on like fresh aquatic scents and I still blood. get bit by mosquitoes. So I think that might be a myth that sweet scents make mosquitoes, you know, more attracted to you because you hardly get bit. Not really. In, in the case that it does, in the case that it's not a myth, this is not too sweet. Right. This is the perfect balance between fruity, it's definitely like the fresh, perfect, like middle ground, like neutral summer scent. Yeah, I think so too. It's mm -hmm. not too clean if you don't like too clean or masculine and it's not too sweet if you don't like sugary sweet. Yeah, I feel like every girl would like this scent, which is yeah. why this is the only one we're mentioning. Yeah, because we do have quite a few summer fragrances that we like, which we did do a video on yes. if you guys did not check that out. Mm -hmm. This one made it in this video because it's very universal. Yes. Last but certainly not least, I don't know where you leaving the house to without putting on deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> these two are the two for me that i feel like are going to be like game changers this summer for me because i've been searching far and wide high and low <laughs> for a really good natural deodorant it's hard it's very hard because some of them i'd be i'm like i had this on for an hour and i'm already sweating what is mm -hmm. this right these two brands i found at target so the first one is from the brand schmitz i think that's how you say this brand mm -hmm. and i got the scent jasmine tea and i'm shook Y'all, first of all, I really like this smell. This is a yeah, nice scent. Good. The jasmine tea one to me is one of the nicer scents. They have, I think like maybe six or seven other scents, but okay. I really like this one the best when I was smelling them. Mm -hmm. Summertime is the perfect time to test out a natural deodorant because that's when you're sweating the most. So I was very shook that I was not sweating at all when I wore this. I recommend not being around people when doing this test. <laughs> So they can't smell you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Definitely. But if you've been looking for a long time for a really good natural deodorant, I highly recommend checking out Schmitz. This is a really good brand. And Kendra said she's heard of it before, but I didn't. I, have, well, I, I saw you. I just okay. found it at Target. And y'all, I think I want to try some more scents because I, I haven't been sweating when I've been putting this on. Hmm. I'm shook. And then the other option, if you can't find that one at Target, is from the brand Mega Babe. It's this cute little pink one. Um, this one is the smoothie deodorant and this is a fruit enzyme deodorant. So it's really good for chemical exfoliation under the arm. If you have dark underarms and you want to lighten your underarms, mm -hmm. try to find deodorants with like enzymes, AHAs, like those kind of ingredients mm -hmm. because those ingredients are going to really help get rid of the dead skin under your arms. Um, this says it also has 
bilberry lemon and orange in it so lemon is really good for hyperpigmentation as well under the arms some people i've even seen use actual lemon under their arms but okay, don't do that i'm not trying to go that natural mm -mm. it's doing a little too much for me i need an actual deodorant and we're not chemists so we don't want to promote that either <laughs> exactly yeah but i like that they incorporated it into an actual deodorant like mm -hmm. put the ingredients in the deodorant so i've been using this one at night um it smells like candy to be honest it makes me kind of want to smell candy. like uh lemon heads lemon head smell like lemon head yeah or lemon cake or lemon cookies or something like that lemon head smells very good but i like to use this one at night and y'all i'm telling y'all ever since i switched over to natural deodorants my underarms have lightened so so much y'all i'm telling you hmm. like if you exfoliate your underarms because sometimes i do exfoliate my underarms with this so i'll do that maybe like twice a week uh -huh. and i use my natural deodorants now i'm telling y'all fragrance is what is going to make your underarms darker so you might want to switch over to a more natural deodorant because usually the scents that are in natural deodorants aren't like artificial fragrances there are usually more natural fragrances and i've noticed since i've switched over to natural deodorants that my underarms have significantly lightened so i don't remember the last time i've used a deodorant that wasn't from a natural brand and so i used to go to pilates you're using you know natural yeah hmm. that's how i know that it's been very hard to find a good one got it because okay. i literally would drip from under my arms so fast and mm -hmm. i knew it was from the deodorant i was using i was like right. this ain't working uh -huh. so i'm not gonna lie like deodorants that do have aluminum in them or baking soda they do help with the sweat because those are the ones i use at pilates they trap the sweat in but they also trap the darkness in that's true so they like aren't very helpful if you're trying to lighten your underarms and i was insecure about my underarms for a long time i can take like those cute arm up pictures because i would be like damn my underarms they don't look even with the rest of my arm mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> i'm trying to help y'all out as far as like lightening your underarms so yeah just try to find a really good natural deodorant i highly recommend trying one of these out Target has a ton of brands now, but these are the two that I gravitated towards and I love both of them. Even if you just want to start testing them out, you can just use it at night when you go to bed. That's when I started using them. So. Yeah, that can be like a good time to test them out too. Uh -huh. um, so just give it a try if you're trying to lighten your underarms. Just try natural deodorants and exfoliating at least twice a week yeah. under your arms. Exactly. I promise you it's going to make a difference. Okay guys, so that wraps up our summer essentials. Let us know in the comments what are some of your essentials and if you're going to be adding some of these to your essentials for this summer. Also, if you guys are interested in the Aveda Nutriplenish line, we will link Aveda.com in the description box below. And of course, as always, we will have a full list of all the products mentioned in today's video in the description box for you guys to check out. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.